were like a guy possessed out there today on both ends of the floor. What? Why was that? Coach was saying maybe just uh, the competition playing against Arkansas fired you up. What, what was it going into this game that made you play that way? Um, just wanted to play hard, do whatever it took to help the team win. Um, that's really was the biggest thing. Um, I haven't been playing the best lately to the highest of my capability. So that was my big focus on just doing the things I could do to help the team win tonight. Matt, for you, going in there and just being able to start the game off, just putting a shoulder into the opponent and just getting a couple tough layoffs, was that something that really fed into you and helped you, you know, have the game that you had today? Uh, yeah, um, everyone has been, teammates have been telling me to be aggressive, um, get downhill. So that was the big thing, um, just get, get downhill and just be confident. Matt, your coach said there's no more but what positives can you take away from, you know, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a team like Arkansas, you know, after the recent struggles? Yeah, we, I mean, we, we play really, really well. Um, there's obviously some things we can we can learn from this. Um, we still can, you know, pick up on the defense end a little bit. Well, there's more too. So we're definitely gonna go back, watch some film, see some things we could have done better on, um, execute a little bit better down the stretch, so we can, you know, finish games when we need to. Nigel, is it almost more heartbreaking in a way to lead for 36 minutes and not be able to come out with with a win? Yeah, I feel like either way. I mean, even if we were, you know, losing the whole game and we lost, I mean, just a loss is a loss, and nobody wants to lose, especially in front of our crowd. And we played such a great game, and I was just so happy with my guys and, you know, how we played, and just, you know, sucks we didn't get to come out with the victory. What do you think? What? How would you explain what happened in the last couple of minutes there? Why do you think they were able to pull that out? Well, yeah, um, there was a scramble for a loose ball, and we dove on it. Um, we kind of got out of rhythm right there, and then they had an open three in the corner, and that kind of gave them some rhythm to go, and they got hyped up and. You know, Coach Elle do a great play up in the in the huddle, and we executed really well. We just weren't able to finish it, um, and it kind of put us in a bind. And we came down to the end of the stretch, and we just weren't able to complete the you know the shots that we had. And we had a good look at the very very end. Um, we just weren't able to make it. And, you know, I, I'm happy with JB shooting that. I'm pretty much sure everybody else on the team was happy with JB shooting the open three for you know the tie. So um, we just got to be better. You know, so it doesn't come down to that type of situations. Yeah, a great player. I mean, he's playing, you know, Division One at a, you know, Power Five school for a reason. You know, respect all to him. He played really well. Um, and down the stretch, you know, his coach trusted to put the ball in his hands, and he was able to deliver for him. Um, especially at getting that that three in the corner, I really got him going. Um, and then, you know, he he just kept going from there. Nigel, kind of like a similar-ish question uh, just about Arkansas's guards as a whole. Just what made them, I guess, challenging to defend, in your opinion? Well, we, we knew their athletic ability coming into the game, um, you know, one through three, you know, with their other three or four. We knew how athletic he was, especially if he got downhill. And, um, you know, Boogie and DJ were, you know, both, you know, trying to get downhill early. Um, and I feel like we did a good job of, you know, trying to protect the paint, keeping them from getting out of there. And I feel like we made a really good emphasis um, to box out today. Um, I feel like, you know, I was really, you know, proud of my big guys and, you know, the rest of the guys that came in. And we were able to get some rebounds today and, you know, hold their offensive, you know, rebounding ability. Um, to a minimum, so I'm really proud of that, that we made strides in the right direction, but we still got to, you know, continue to do better. And then the inclusion of Austin in the starting lineup, just what have you seen from him in practice and in games that you think has, I guess, made him ready to handle, uh, you know, increased responsibilities and such? Yeah, he's a great player. I mean, in, 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 in practice, he's, you know, one of those guys that, you know, really challenges us, and, you know, we, we've been really appreciative of him being on the, the – um, the scout squad, especially to start, you know, he was helping us get ready for games and he was playing really well, making shots. And we gave him an opportunity out there and he made, he took full advantage of it. And now, you know, coach is really trusting and believing in him. Um, he's going out there and playing really good minutes for us. I mean, he's doing what the team needs to do. He makes shots, he plays defense, he grabs some rebounds when he has to, he passes when he has to. So um, he's been done having an all, a great all around game for us. Nigel, can you talk about Matt's performance tonight? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the Matthew Cleveland that I know, I mean, the athletic ability that we knew. And I, I remember I was talking to coach, you know, I was like, man, he's, he's our best athlete. And if we can get him going, I feel like we're going to be one of the best teams, you know, possible. And that's how he played today. He played like a, a grown man. I mean, all everywhere, all over the boards. He was at the rim. He was knocking down turnarounds. Like, this is the type of Matthew Cleveland that we can get used to seeing. And I feel like that's what he needed was a really big game. Um, and even in my opinion, too, I mean, it's kind of hard, you know, when the competition is a little, a little down, it's kind of hard to play at your best, but when, you know, the, the, the stars shine, uh, when, the, when the big games come in, that's what I feel like he did today.
Tonight's conference play starts Saturday. We're o and out. Think today is a big step forward to uh, going into conference play. No, definitely. I mean, if you could start out one and zero in conference play, that's that's a huge thing, especially when you have, you know, one game now and then the next one's not till January. So to be able to get out to a good start. Um, and it's not going to be easy at all, especially with Clemson coming in here. And we always have good matchups every time we play Clemson, and especially they're a really good team. So it's going to take a lot of you know effort out of us. We're going to have to play better, and I feel like we can do that. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.